Welcome to Roanoke Hobby and Electronics. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and take our first look at the HexaWare. It's a wearable IoT Internet of Things device. And uh, we've, we've got the HexaWare and we've got some accessories that we're going to open up and take a look at. So um, stay with us and we'll take a look. Okay, and so the Internet of Things, the IoT devices are just, there's just so many new things coming out there. And so unless you've just not been paying any attention at all, uh, Internet of Things is just like the big buzzword now. And um, I've got so many different devices that I've gotten in the studio. And um, so this t uh, today in this video, we're going to take a look at the... Uh, the HexaWare. Um, HexaWare was on Kickstarter and it's a product now that's available for sale uh, online at several different sites and uh, I think directly through the uh, company. And um, we'll just uh, get a little zoom in here just a little bit. So the, um, the actual HexaWare device, we'll open it up and uh, take a look here. And uh, the one thing I've, I've noticed is that this particular company does uh, a good job uh, with like nice um, packaging. They put a lot of thought into um, like protecting the product. So, and it's, it's a pretty small little device. It's not much to it. And um, the, main, the main thing about the uh, Hexaware is it's uh, Bluetooth enabled and uh, it's got a whole um, array of sensors that are included in the device and it's designed to be wearable so it's small and lightweight um, it uh, has a, a small battery inside you charge it with a mini USB and it, it's designed from the beginning to be uh, to be hackable and, and durable because you know people like me drop things um, and um, just like very carefully none, none of the parts of the case are glued together so it's designed uh, to uh, to be able to kind of take it apart and um, work with it and um, and kind of hack it. So um, it's got the little touch pads there and um, it's a color OLED. Um, it's got a small little uh, LiPo battery. It's got the little um, haptic device that it vibrates so you can tell when it's active. And it's also got the little monitor there if you can see it. Um, optical there that's how it does the um, heart rate measurements so it, it does um, it's got a gyroscope um, a magnometer um, so you can do like uh, steps count the number of steps and um, if I do it well and get it put back together there again so th that's the device itself. Um, it's got a little speaker so you can hear. And like I said, it's got a uh, tactile. It's got like a little vibration there. So um, there you go. You tap it. And um, the, the main way that this device works is it connects by Bluetooth with your phone. And then you install the Hexaware app. Um, for the iOS on an Apple phone or uh, Android phone and um, and connects that way, collects the data. And then once it's on the phone, then the phone has internet access and then the data can go up to the cloud. And uh, we'll take a look at that in the next segment then on, on uh, collecting the data. So we'll set that aside there a little bit. So, and... Uh, 
you know, it, it's designed to be wearable. So the, the first accessory we're going to open up here is um, a little pack that's got, um, uh, well, they, they, they give you an extra face. So I guess they kind of, I guess you could personalize it with different colors. Um, it's got one thing here where you can uh, wear it like a pennant, like if you were going to use it to count uh, your number of steps or something like that, you could put that on a uh, on a lanyard and uh, and wear it that way. But uh, what I like is that it has the uh, wristband and you can put it in there and then you can wear it uh, wear it like that as a like a watch and um, and we'll, we'll go into a little more detail in the uh, in the second segment we'll go into a little bit more detail about the uh, sensors and uh, the um, the software but uh, we'll set that accessory aside and then the the other thing that's available for the Hexaware then is the docking station and they have got an entire family of uh, plug-in devices and sensors that can work with the Hexaware. And, and as, as like I was saying earlier, they do a really good job with the packaging. So then you have the, uh, the docking station and you got the spot here that the, uh, the Hexaware Oh, I didn't. I had to reach over there. Sorry about that. So it's got the uh, the slot there, and the way they explained it is you got to make sure that you keep your finger there on the since it's not glued on there permanently, the uh, face can pop off, but uh, you firmly press down until it snaps, and then it's. You've got it docked, and then um, on-off switch, uh, micro USB to power it. Uh, several uh, switches here to configure uh, for to do the configuration, and then these you've got three positions there that the um, the uh, sensors can plug in. And like I said, they've got an entire family. I think I think I saw somewhere in the documentation like 400 some different devices and sensors. Uh, a little slot there for an SD card. So um, that is the uh, the Hexaware and the uh, the most common accessories. And um, that is the unboxing and first look. And then in the next segment, then we're going to go into a little bit more of, uh, of uh, configuring it, uh, what kind of sensors that has on board and um, getting it uh, linked with your, with the Bluetooth, with your phone. So that, that will wrap up the first segment here. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. If, uh, if you find any of the videos useful, uh, just give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you get uh, notified when I got a new video out. And uh, be sure and stop by the blog at roanokehobby.info and um, look at some of the other videos we've done in the past. So... Um, just watch for the uh, for the next segment here with the Hexaware, and uh, thanks for watching.